Schools in a central Iowa City are closed today following a standoff situation this morning. Now it happened about an hour and a half north of Des Moines in Iowa Falls. That's where we find local fives Cleo Maycock this morning. Cleo, what do we know at this hour? Good morning, Jackie. Right now we know that that standoff is no longer active, but there is a still a heavy police present here in Iowa Falls. And right now I'm on North Street and River Street, and I was speaking to a grandmother earlier. She has kids that walk to an elementary school that is not too far from the street. The elementary school is on the other side of this, and she says this morning when she woke up, she did see that heavy police presence out here, and she did get nervous. And that she also worked at a middle school, so right before she went to drop, take herself to work, she was on her way to drop those kids off at that elementary school and they someone at that school told her it's best to just take them back home um, and a couple minutes later she did get a notification that you know those kids do not need to go to school um, and that's because there was a standoff situation on her street at first she thought it was a farewell for one of their police chiefs who is getting ready to retire um, but here's what she had to say there were police officers all over in people's yards and um, the dog was there and I saw guns, so it was a scary situation and, you know, having having children and, and we have a lot of children on this block. It was a scary situation. Now, once again, there still is a heavy police presence out here. There are multiple Iowa State Patrol cars. There's Hardin County uh, Sheriff's Department out here um, and then that grandmother who you just heard from she did say that she was concerned because one of her dear friends lives on this street um, she has told us that that was not the house that she heard anything coming from but she did say earlier this morning she did hear the sound of one gunshot so live in iowa falls Cleo maycock local 5 news we are iowa